Okay, in this lesson, we're going to get started with actions and scripting. This is really exciting. This is the real power of Autoplay Media Studio, and this is the core of what happens in all powerful applications. Okay, so let's just start a new project by going to File New or starting Autoplay Media Studio from scratch. And in the project name entry thing, I'm just going to put Action Intro. You can put anything you like, though. And then click the Create Project Now button. Now I'm just going to go to the View, Workspace Layout, Closed. And that's going to create this look here. So if you want to follow along, you can do that too if you like. It's not integral here because we're just going to be working with actions. So in this particular case, we're going to double click on our page to bring up the Page Properties dialog. Okay, and we're going to create our first script together here. It's really simple, so just follow along and don't worry too much about what we're doing. It'll all become apparent as we go along. So we'll click on the Actions tab here to bring it up. As you see, there's a variety of tabs here. On Show, On Close, On Audio, etc. These are different areas where you can attach actions. For example, the On Show area will play these actions when the page shows itself. The On Close area would play the actions when the page closes, etc. Okay, now, there's different ways to enter actions. We can type them right in. Um, we can enter them from a wizard and we can enter them from scripts but in this particular case we're going to start off really easy and we're going to click on the add action button here and we're going to create a uh, script called hello world which is typically used to start people off with scripting languages you'll notice here that you can choose an action by category or by its own name in these menus here in this particular case we're going to go to the choose from a category and we're going to choose dialog and then it's going to bring up a sub-menu here of the different type of dialogues and we're going to choose a message one. So now if you'd like you can double click that or you can press next. It's up to you. I'm going to double click it. Alright, as you can see here we've got a property screen or action setting screen for the dialog message action. It gives a couple different options. For now we're not going to worry too much about the type and icon and default button options. We'll take a look at them later in different lessons, but for now we're going to look at the title and text areas here. Okay, so for title, let's go ahead and being sure not to get rid of the quotation marks there, let's go ahead and type something in here. I'm just going to type in my title. And in the text area, again, make sure that whatever you type is in quotation marks here. I'm going to type in hello world. Okay? So that's basically it. Hopefully everybody's been able to follow along so far and you've got the same thing on your screen as I do now. When you press the finish button, this action is going to be added to your page. So let's go ahead and press finish. As you can see here, it's created a action on our page and it's uh, typed it all out, everything for us. And we can go ahead, if we'd like at this point, press the OK button and preview our project by pressing the F5 button and there you go you get a dialog message box that says hello world congratulations you've just created and run your first script that's how easy it is you can stack or combine these scripts you can augment them you can extend them you can adjust them there's a variety of ways you can use these scripts but in this case we just use the very most basic script possible to display some text in a message box. When you press OK, your demo app is still going to be open behind it. If you right click on it, you'll notice that the little word exit is there. If you click that, that'll go away. That's only an option during previews. When you build your project, that doesn't actually occur, that, app, that little exit action. OK, so let's extend our script a little bit. Let's double click on the page again, and let's go back into our actions editor. And let's just add one more action to it so we can add a little bit of complexity to this, a little bit of interactivity. And we're going to go ahead and add um, an application exit action behind this action, and it's going to actually create that, um, or it's actually going to play that action when we click the OK button in the message dialog, thereby closing the application. So we'll go to Add Action again, and in this case, we're going to select the category application and as you can see we're given a variety of commands we can make our application uh, sleep 
or minimize or restore load values load pages plugins scripts um, but for now we're just going to worry about this very first one here application exit as you can see it's a really basic um, action and we'll just double click on it to add it to our script and here we go it's been added so we've got our dialogue message here on the first line and on the second line you can see we've got an action here which denotes application exit so when we press OK and then we press F5 to preview our project we'll be presented with the same message box as we were during our earlier demo but this time when we press the OK button you'll notice the demo app goes away so we've just created our first script that's how easy it is and we're going to extend this idea through a couple of different concepts and as always if you need any help with action scripting or understanding this process just meet us in the forum and ask anything that you have to ask and we'll be happy to help